Well, the Alberta government couldn't be happier today, and that's, of course, because of the big news about the Trans Mountain Pipeline project that's been bought by the federal government that's paying $4.5 billion for the existing Trans Mountain infrastructure from Kinder Morgan, and then the government will be spending, we expect, up to $7.4 billion to actually expand the project. And so Notley, Premier Rachel Notley and her government couldn't be happier today. They're basically doing cartwheels around the building because it seems that this project now will be going ahead. But as critics point out, those opposed to the project are still opposed to the project. For example, the Premier of British Columbia, John Horgan, has said that today's deal doesn't change his concerns and he's still going to go to court to, in effect, fight against the project. Well, Rachel Notley has said that now that the project is being bought by the federal government, be run by the federal government, that Horgan has less of a legal leg to stand on. Now, we'll see what actually happens, but this is a major issue for the Alberta government. And Notley and her colleagues today were so happy because this project, if it goes ahead, gives them a fighting chance in the election coming up a year from now. And without this project, they really have no chance of survival, and now they're seeing some glimmer of hope. So we'll see what actually happens this summer. There's a lot at stake, and this pipeline project, even though it took a giant step forward today, is still not actually under construction. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.